subject today or not but then I saw this meme and I, I just I have to because we, we got troubled times you see what it says there are, those are not refugees Obama is importing it's a planned invasion well this is going to do one of two things it's either going to get you to hate Obama which no I don't like him either but you can keep fueling that distraction of hating Obama or you can be scared to death that somebody that doesn't look or speak like you is coming here to take everything you have and kill you. Yeah. Now, doesn't really matter what you think. And probably there's going to be a lot of urban warfare, uh, terror attacks, little bombings and all kind of mayhem perpetrated from people that didn't originate from this country. But why would they want to do that? Can any of you actually take responsibility for what you've allowed to happen? Okay, I was going to share a bunch of links to show you just how much genocide the United States has inflicted on the rest of the planet. Perpetual war since, well, pretty much since Christopher Columbus landed here. But if you go back just as far as 1900, you'll be horrified. And you'll also see that just like Al-Qaeda, at one time, Syria was our ally. Oh, when we wanted to attack Iran, I think. Yeah. Um, or, or Iraq. We wanted to attack Iraq, and Syria was our ally. And now Iran, whom we hate, <laughs> is, you know, yeah. Do some research, okay? And stop dropping fucking ballots. Do not vote. Shut this goddamn system down. It's it's probably too late, quite honestly. There's it's time to pay the fiddler, folks. We the people are responsible for every one of those children that were murdered on their homeland, innocent. All those families that they're bringing over here now. And I know a lot of you say, well, most of them don't have kids, and most of them are terrorists. And yeah, because you allowed it to go this far. Expect hell. Expect hell. You had it coming, and you could have done something about it. You could have not allowed this government to continue. But you won't stand up, will you? Because standing up means that you have to also take care of your community. You have to help that homeless man out. You have to feed that family that can't provide for themselves right now. And you don't want to do that. You'd rather... Let your government bomb and live in fear and hate and mayhem and, yeah, no. Somehow, even though you, you stole this country from the people that lived here, you, you think that you have supreme right over the fucking planet? Come on. If this country is worth a shit, then every one of us will be storming our state capitals on the day of election and demanding that our governors either shut down the federal government or we put our governors in prison because they're just as guilty I know the governors are corrupt I know everything's corrupt you're corrupt anyway I love you guys but you you, you gotta you know same I feel like w with the world it's just like my kids teaching you self-responsibility you know you caused this you're crying and whining and living in fear and not wanting to, to, to take care of other humans. And why? Why? Because you continually supported a terroristic regime, the United States government, located in Washington, D.C. The smallest country in the world, in fact. Ten square acres, I think, right? <laughs> Smallest country in the world bombing the entire fucking planet in your name. Yeah, that blood is on your hands. That is your government. You wave its flag every day 
you continue to drop your ballots to, to, to vote in the next controller of the whole system when the controller of the whole system isn't even the person in control. You don't have any control because you relinquished it and you did it with a smile on your face. Anyway, start thinking because we do have, you know, do some preparing, folks. Learn, learn how to protect yourselves, but don't live in fear and anger. There's going to be a lot of people that don't look or sound like you, and you're going to automatically be intimidated by them. Many of those are innocent. Some of them might not be. Some of them might be here to whoop your ass. You had it coming. But many of them are innocent. Don't attack them. Live by the same standards that you were taught. You don't put your hands on anybody unless they put their hands on you first. You live by that rule? I've lived by that rule. I'm 45 years old. I haven't had a physical altercation since I was in the 8th grade. I think you could do the same. I think this country could do the same. Much love. Many thanks. And I'll see you soon.